I'd like to welcome y'all back to Into Everything. Uh, this afternoon, I'm going to be unboxing this EcoFlow solar generator. Uh, actually, right off the top of my head, I don't remember how many watts it is. It's somewhere around the 500 watt range, I think. And it's uh, LiPo batteries, lithium iron phosphate, uh, which provides a quick recharge. Uh, from what I've read, this thing recharges from zero to... 100% in an hour So we'll go find out about that and then find out how it lasts run a couple tests on it But for today, we're just gonna unbox it and uh, Start it char and charge it up and see how that goes So get into the unboxing Okay, this could be particularly new for me because I'm working behind the camera and have never done such So I might look clumsy unboxing this but here we go We're gonna the good old zero tolerance which has been through mm, pretty much everything and first thing we see is some foam packing which is a good thing Under that, we have the EcoFlow 2 River, uh, the EcoFlow River 2 Max, and it's one of the smallest power stations I have. I have uh, three other power stations besides this, and this will be the smallest. So let's see what's in the box. Uh, first thing in the box is the River 2 Max and if I get it in frame first thing in the box is the River 2 Max and it weighs about 14 15 pounds or so it feels like shipping weight said 17 pounds but mm, we're probably close to 15 also in the box comes hopefully all the necessary cables that we need don't eat that that's bad for you all right looks like we have a uh, just a barrel port for we'll find it we'll figure out what it's for and we have a DC charging option from your car. And we have a standard, it's basically a computer plug. One thing I'm glad to see, there's not a power brick involved with this. And that's a good thing because that's one less thing to keep up with. The one thing I'm not glad to see is the lack of any uh, solar cables. Which, I mean, I got some, but... Yeah, you would think they would include it. Uh, let's take a little closer look at the uh, River 2 Max. Okay, look in the front of the thing. You got uh, one, two, three USB-A ports. Uh, I'm assuming they're just two amps. I don't see anything special about them saying they're uh, any bigger, any, any faster. And then you have one USB-C 100 watt port and of course you got your your ac voltage i think uh these are rated at 10 amps it's a small unit it's going to be small and these are going to be some dc outs and i'm not real sure right now if they're 12 24 or just 12 straight up and you got your standard uh cigarette lighter plug which i'm sure is 12 volts at 10 amps or whatever uh, i i I'll verify the amperages on things. Still don't take my word for exactly for everything. I roughly got an idea. Let's cut the display on, see if we got any what's in it coming from right out of the box. And we're at a 28% charge out of the box. And it looks like you can look at input watts and output watts. And that's what you got to work with. You can cut on the inverter 
and no fan popped on immediately i'm assuming we got 110 or 120 there we'll see and also i've seen a couple of reviews that said this thing could be used as a ups and i don't know that so i'm not gonna say that we'll test it out and find out but or we'll, we'll find out and while we're here that basically goes over the front of the thing there's not a whole lot to it i mean it's power of solar power generators are what they are is this is around 500 500 watt hours i think anyway we'll go around to the back and if you can see that's where you plug up your power cord and it charges 660 watts coming from the wall and that will charge this from zero to 100 percent in one hour and that's your solar connection i'm not crazy about that solar connection but i mean it'll work i just have to get an adapter for it and i think the max it charges that is 220 watts and that should charge this unit within three or six hours depending on your conditions and that's about all there is to this unit it's light doesn't really weigh anything we're gonna plug it up to a charger here in just a second and uh and see how long it takes to get from 28 percent to 100 percent and i'll let you know okay i just plugged it into the power at 440 this afternoon and we're drawing right at 640 640 some odd watts it floats a little bit uh that's that's a good amount for this size of uh this size unit uh we'll go see how it does see how quick it does charge see if it will charge uh, it should charge in less than an hour and i'll update on some of the specs of the thing i didn't read the manual so i got to do a little updating so we'll see you when this thing's fully charged okay i did hit a slight snag there uh trip the breaker on the camper i'm staying in and that's another story for another day while i'm in a camper parked in my driveway uh refinishing the house we'll get into that another time but i did check out some specs on that uh this is a uh, 500 watt hour excuse me let's get all this straight here okay back to some specs on this thing it is 512 watt hours it weighs 13.4 pounds says the manual it's 10 by 6 by 10 by 2 by 7 by 7 uh, the AC input it charges as you can see at 630 or 40 watts uh, it's DC input if you're going to charge it so by solar. Is DC input's going to be 11 through 50 volts at 13 amps for a maximum of 220 watts of, of charging. So that's, a, that's decent. I mean, that's pretty good for especially this size unit. And this USB A, the three USB A's are uh, 2.4 amps, 12 watts a piece. So that's, a, that's, that's decent uh the cigarette plug is 12.6 volts at 10 amps and it's ac output it's pure sine wave 500 watt uh inverter with a total of a thousand surge watts at 120 volts at 50 or 60 hertz i have to see if i have to uh set the 50 or 60 hertz i haven't seen exactly how to do it uh it says it can go through three thousand cycles of charging before it gets down to 80 percent of its of its output so that's that's one of the things that attracted me to it right there was i know a small is subject to be charged many many times so uh that did attract me to it and its solar connector is going to be from whatever you got to a 
XT60. I'm not real familiar with that. I'll look that up and see what that is and see if you can get the, adapt the adapters you can get for it. Uh, and I think that's all I was going to go over. It's still charging. I had to, uh, the display cut off. I had to uh, cut the air conditioning off of the camper. So this thing says it's only got 22 minutes, so maybe I won't melt in 22 minutes. And we'll see if it makes it fully charged. And we're already up to 64%. So my timing's going to be off by a little bit. And speaking of which, I got to set the reset the clock on the microwave. Power went out. All right, see you in a few. As you can see, as this thing gets closer to a full charge, the amperage starts to drop. We were at a uh, six six forty. Now we're at four forty, and ninety nine percent to go. Two minutes left, and the time is five twenty three. So we're getting close. Uh, I'll let you know exactly when it gets hundred percent full and how it acts. And uh, I've got the air conditioning also. It's getting it's getting warm in here. So I'll be glad when this thing charges. I could have took it to the garage and charged it. Or in the house and charged it. But I really didn't feel like moving it in there and set resetting up. So it is what it is. I'll do a little bit more talking about it here while it's finishing up charging. Uh, it's, a, it's a small one. Uh, it's not going to be like a... Uh, one for like a super emergency backup but it will fit in there it will supplement other ones if you have other solar generators uh, this will be my fourth one and like I said this is my smallest one but I can see I can see it being very useful at some things and we're at a hundred percent and it has stopped time is 524 um, the pros I like about the thing is lightweight, charges fast, um, got good options for ports, uh, nice, nice bright display. Well, I think this is one of the only ones that, uh, don't have a light on it, but I don't really use any of the lights on any of the other ones I got anyway. Uh, just for your reference, it takes in air from that side and blows out air from that side. So you'll have to keep the sides clean or clear. Uh, I think you can back it up against the wall, right up against the wall, no problem. And it's flat on top, so you couldn't stack stuff on it if you had to or wanted to. But anyway, this has been the unboxing to, uh, starting Monday. I'll probably put it through some of its paces, see how it does. Got a few tests, real world tests on it. And uh, we'll run those and go from there. Thank y'all for watching. And please like and subscribe. Uh, trying to get a channel off the ground. But never haven't done it before. I'm, I'm learning a lot of them going. Y'all be patient with me and we'll get there. Thank you.